those of you who were uh, around in the uh, 1970s and 80s might remember a phenomenon called uh, CB radio, Citizen Span radio, and um, it <laughs> it feels to me like it's making a bit of a revival. Um, I've just had a conversation. I've got a little. Uh, I'll point my camera at it. Okay, I hope you can see this. It's a it's a very it's a small. Uh, here we go. It's a little radio. There it is. Um, it's a, a legal CB. It's only four watts. Um, and I've just had a conversation with a, a friend of mine who lives about. Let me see. About eight nine miles from here. Um, on the radio, we've just been discussing the, the current situation, of course, as, as you would. And um, it occurs to me that a lot of people could, uh, could benefit from this, from the CB uh, network. Um, if you're stuck at home, you can order these things online. I mean, that little radio I just showed you, uh, together with its antenna, um, I, I'm using it on the roof. I don't know whether you can see it. If I point the camera backwards, you can probably see on my roof that I've got a, a CB aerial. Um, those two things together cost, let me see, um, round about seven, you know, less than 70 pounds, should we say. The radio itself was less than 40 quid, well actually a fraction over 40 quid including uh, shipping. Uh, the antenna was, about, was just under 30 quid. Um, and for that, you don't need a license, you don't need any, anything else other than that really. Oh, maybe, uh, maybe you need a um, um, standing wave ratio SWR meter uh, that's a little thing you can look up but if you look on YouTube there's loads of videos um, people using CBs both in this country uh, UK and in the States um, but in this country we can use uh, AM and FM um, it's pretty easy stuff to learn there's not there's no uh, there's no real kind of formal um, stuff around CB as there is around um, amateur radio um, I was I, I was studying for my uh, amateur radio license actually before this, all this um, coronavirus stuff kicked off and uh, that stopped me doing the exam but I've now heard that you can actually do the exam online or at least you will be able to so I'll, I shall probably go ahead and do that but meanwhile CB radio, citizen band radio um, would be ideal for people who are stuck indoors and if you've got a bit of space um, out the back or even the, the front of your place where you can put an antenna um, then you can talk to people all over the place. Uh, probably, um, in most cases, probably not more than a few miles from where you live, but when the conditions are right, and, and it's, it is somewhat weather dependent, but uh, when, the, when the weather conditions are right for longer distance radio, you can actually get a long way. I've spoken to people from, um, from up on Dartmoor, I've spoken to people in Bristol and in, um, let me see, Dorchester, the other end of, Do of Dorset. So um, it, you can carry quite a long distance and you can get, talk to people that you otherwise wouldn't get the opportunity to talk to. I mean, you know, mobile phones are great um, and they're great if you want to talk to somebody you already know, but if you want to talk to uh, people you've never met, um, then CV radio is, is, is a great thing and I think uh, it deserves to be become more popular again I think because it's um, it's fun it's free and it allows you to communicate with people you might otherwise not meet so there we go that's my little speech about CB radio look it up on YouTube lots of videos um, look for a how-to video and um, you might find yourself getting interested anyway I'm off now to the apiary I'm going to do a little movie about um, splitting a hive I think there's a hive there that really needs uh, needs splitting so I shall do that and uh, I shall do more of this later.